To use the graphical editor, we need to introduce a .ktree file to our project. .ktree files are XML files which store the few hierarchy we want to integrate into our project. Therefore, we open on right click the pop-up dialog and choose new Korg K tree in the resources folder. I will just name it my tree and there we have our K tree file. We can choose the settings and uh, adjust the width and height and the grid width. So let me just choose 512 by 512 here. The grid width um, plays a role when you use the grip snapping feature that we have introduced here. And here you can see the view window which will be rendered for the K-tree views and down below on the right you actually see the tree implementation, the tree view of the views you will add. And if you right click it you can add all kinds of views, images, rectangles, containers, ellipses, even other K-trees, dragon bones, spines, animations, particle images, everything. So for the sake of simplicity, let's just choose a rectangle here. I will move it to my view window. And on the top right, you can see the properties you can actually edit for this rectangle for this view we have selected. So let's choose a nicer color and give it a name. I will call it my rectangle and let's add the image too. We can choose a source file for it. Let's take this Korg PNG and I will adjust the scale so that it will fit better. Whoa, that's large. Let's just make it 50. So, and this one too. So, here it is. Can actually make it a bit larger. There it is. Okay, so now to make this K tree we just created being loaded into our program, we have to change something in the main KT where we have the stage after we initialized the Korge singleton. To read the k-tree we will introduce a value, I will call it my tree. And that's the line you need to read the k-tree, use the resource file system and the function read k-tree with the properties of the views from this stage. And now you can simply add the child to the scene which is called my tree. And there it is, the k-tree. To manipulate these views we have to reference them in code. For this we need to remember the name. So the name of the rectangle we chose my rectangle and we can simply reference it like this. Like this. So there is a getter function in this my tree view that we got and this will retrieve the rectangle. And now we can maybe um, change something to see if it translates to the view. Now we can see that we have access to the properties of this rectangle view. As you can see the type which is produced by this getter is QView and if you want to access this my rectangle as a rectangle you can simply cast it to a solid rect and now it is a solid rect. This comes in handy if you need properties or functions that are specific to a certain kind of view.